Today, I'll answer a question that many vegan mamas have, whether for themselves or for their little ones, and that is how to boost iron levels naturally. Now, full disclosure, as a registered dietitian, I tend to have a foods first approach to most things. So if you're gonna ask me how to boost your iron levels, I'm more than inclined to suggest several food related alternatives before ever discussing supplements. And in today's video, I wanna share with you my personal favorite way to boost iron levels, and it's super simple. It's cooking in a cast iron pan. So I'll show you how to season your cast iron pan or skillet, how to cook with it, and why doing so can help boost your iron levels naturally. Plant foods contain loads of iron, and actually many plant foods contain significantly more than animal-based products. But the problem with the iron in plants is that it's more difficult for your body to absorb. And that's why you need an arsenal of techniques to help boost iron absorption from plants. Getting enough iron is super important in your diet because it helps prevent the symptoms of anemia, such as fatigue, headaches, dizziness, hair loss, shortness of breath, and even restless leg syndrome, where you just keep tapping your leg uncontrollably. It usually happens uh, before you try falling asleep. Combining iron-rich foods like soy foods, beans, peas, lentils, nuts and seeds, and leafy greens with foods rich in vitamin C, like sweet potatoes, peppers, tomatoes, Brussels sprouts, raspberries, kiwis, mango, and citrus fruit is one strategy, and avoiding drinking tea and coffee with meals is another. But an even simpler and mindless way to boost your iron absorption is the cookware that you use. Cooking in a cast iron pan can release some iron in the foods being cooked, and it seems to boost the iron content of your meal by up to 16% compared to cooking in a Teflon coated nonstick pan, for example. And not only does cooking in a cast iron pan boost the iron content of your meal, it also leads to higher hemoglobin and iron concentrations in people with low blood iron levels. So it's definitely worth giving it a try. Now I found both of my cast iron pans at a thrift shop, uh, so they're pretty used, beat up, and they'll need a good scrubbing and seasoning. A cast iron pan needs to be seasoned before you use it. This is what makes it non-stick. And you wanna go through this process even if you buy your cast iron pan new. So let's get started. First, turn your oven on at the highest temperature that it can go. So to 230 to 260 Celsius or 450 to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Then you wanna scrub your pans using a steel wool and dish soap. You wanna scrub the whole pan, so that means both sides. And this is the only time you're gonna be using dish soap on your pans. After this step, no more dish soap on your cast iron pans. Then rinse it under hot water with a non-abrasive scrubber or the tough side of a sponge. And pat it dry and place on the stovetop to dry completely. This will also help open up the pores of the cast iron. Then what you wanna do is add a thin layer of oil. You can use whichever oil you have on hand. I'll use coconut oil because that's what I have on hand. And you wanna make sure that the oil seeps into the pores and creates a smooth cooking surface. Once you've oiled both sides of the pan and the handle, use a clean paper towel to rub off as much oil as you can, because leaving too much oil on the pan at this point will cause it to come out of the oven sticky, and we don't want that. It can also cause spots on your pan where the oil will have accumulated, and that's also not handy. Now place your cast iron pan in the oven, facing down, and cook it for around an hour. Once that hour is up, turn the oven off and let the pan cool in the oven. Your pan should come out with a hard glassy layer that makes it non-stick. Now, if you find that your pan didn't quite come out this way, you can repeat the seasoning process as many times as it takes to achieve this result. Now, here are a couple of tips that you wanna keep in mind when using your cast iron pan. And the first is to uh, preheat it. And it's very important to do so. That's what gives the best results and prevents your food from burning or sticking to the pan. And you can make sure that your pan is hot enough by hovering your hand over it. You'll feel some heat because iron is a very good conductor. Another way is to add oil to your pan and if it starts sizzling right away, it's more than likely ready to go. A second tip is to fight the urge to move your food around. And I know that with other types of pans, it's um, needed for you to stir and to move foods around to prevent it from burning. But with cast iron, it's better to just put the food on and let it sit. Do not touch it, resist that urge. Because if you do touch it before it's ready to be turned, it's gonna stick to your pan. Instead, when it's ready to go, it will just naturally release from your pan. The other cool thing about cast iron pans is that you can easily transfer them from the stovetop to the oven if you wanna keep cooking your meal that way. To clean your cast iron pan, simply use hot water and a non-metal scrubbing pad or the rough side of a sponge to scrub away. 
You can also add a little bit of extra salt to help with the scrubbing power. And after you've rinsed it, simply pat it dry and put it on top of your stovetop and heat it to dry it completely. Never use soap to clean your pan. Soap will remove your seasoning and make foods stick to your pan. If you want to re-season your pan a bit after each use, simply rub in a little bit of oil and then heat it until this oil starts to smoke. You want to make sure you bring the oil to its smoke point to avoid it from going rancid when you store your pan away. That's it, it's that simple. Do you use a cast iron pan? If so, please share your tips down in the comments below with the rest of us so we can learn from you and your experience as well. I know it can seem daunting at first, but as soon as you get the hang of it, cooking in a cast iron cookware can become such an easy and mindless way to boost the iron content of your diet. For more info on the iron rich foods that you should be cooking in your cast iron pan, make sure to check out this article on the Veggies and More website. The link is in the description box below. And with that said, that's it for today. Until next time, ciao ciao!